Let's see a couple of uh, solutions, or let's see the solution of the couple of parts of the exercise here. So you're expecting to have um, some text file, and then there are various uh, questions that need to be asked, and it can be done with the same script. And at the bottom here, you have an example uh, script uh, that can be used uh, to process the, the data and uh, print out the about things. So let's uh, switch to this window where we ha already have the script and um, this is the example script. It will uh, accept a file on the command line or uh, throw an exception if there is no file. Then open the file and then read in the file and on each line check whether a certain regular expression matches and if it does then print out that line. So the first exercise was to check whether there is a queue in it. So First of all, let's create a text file. That's uh, text uh, txt and type in uh, quote and uh, aqt and I don't really know uh, words in uh, this queue. And then let's say I have a, ver a, a string with a q, a, b, c, and uh, that's it. So let's have this file and uh, let's see how we can run the script. If I run the script, which is um, again the script is called regex exercise pl regex exercise pl if i just run it i'll get the error message or just the explanation how i need to use it so i need to use it providing a, a file name and uh, this is the file and if i run it it won't print anything of course because currently we have two regexes which are just looking for the word regex so let's start with by commenting out the second one, and the first one needs to match any any line that has a Q in it. So if I put here Q, right, this is the has a Q in it. So I put just a Q in the regular expression, and um, actually, uh, and I can run the script now here. So I run the script, and it will print out. Uh, well, has an A. It says because let's fix the code. So what does it has a Q in it. Okay, that's the, the message that should be. And uh, if I run the script now, then uh, it will provide a correct message and all the lines that matched. But in our example, we didn't have any line that didn't have a Q. So let's have A, B, C, D, E, F. And this line doesn't have a Q. Actually, it has a capital Q uh, and uh, some more text here. Now, if I run this, it still prints out the same values. It doesn't print out the line that ha doesn't have a lowercase Q. So let's switch back to the editor itself. You can see that um, it, we go on line by line and the single regular expression is the letter Q. Now we could print out the other cases when there are, there are no when there's no match but there's not not real, no real point for of it. So let's see the second example. So the second example says the starts with a Q. So let, we keep this condition here and uh, in addition we remove the commenting here and starts with a Q, that's, uh, that's the message. And here we have to put in the regular expression. So we have a carrot, sorry. We have a carrot, that means starting with a Q. That's the way we tell it, it starts with a Q. If I switch now to the screen again and run the script, then so the first line will get has a Q and also starts with a Q and two more lines has as a Q but none of them starts with a Q even the one that starts with a space and a Q it doesn't start with a Q so let's switch again to the circle so it has a TH in it well it's nothing uh, special we switch back to the editor and copy paste 
the three lines and what does it mean it has a th so it has a t and immediately afterwards there is an h that's it so and the message is uh, has a th and uh, that's it now we have to prepare some examples so this line this line has th and more and none of the others have th so we can add it's a line a th or you can have a line which is only th and then switch again to the console where we can run the script and run it so now we see that there is uh, there are two lines with th the one that we put the th in the middle the one that is only th and the one that you see here that has t space h that doesn't match because we just explicitly set a t and afterwards an h and we didn't talk anything about spaces uh, allowing spaces in there the next ex uh, uh, question has a q or a single lowercase q or uh, an uppercase q so switching back again to the editor I copy paste four lines and then we have to say whether it has a Q or a capital Q and we can use it with a character class so the character class means it this has a Q or a, Q or a lowercase or an uppercase Q has a Q or a Q. Let's save it and let's run the script. So there are the lines that has a Q, it starts with a Q and has a Q or a Q. The, this line again, the, the AQT line again has both uh, match this version and this version. The QABC, the QABC matches. There is one line that has a capital Q that matches only this uh, has a Q or a capital Q and it doesn't match the has a lowercase Q uh, regular expression and then there are the TH and the TH again so that's it for now we'll take the rest of the exercises in the next uh, video